Charles Moore, a world-renowned oceanographer and researcher, an expert on the topic of plastic pollution, as he speaks to students from around the world on our Green Contributor Global Program. A very small particle is uh, able to penetrate into our body. Plastic is an insulator. It stops electricity from moving. And our brains are electrical. And you don't want to stop the electricity from moving inside your brain or the brain of any other animal uh, by filling it with little tiny nanoparticles of plant. Nanoparticle, a millionth of a millimeter. And we're beginning to become plastic people. So not only are we getting the chemicals from plastic as part of the problem, we're also getting uh, the plastic itself now because this um, failure of the plastic industry to take back its products and reuse them is resulting in plastic uh, being left in the environment. We now have this uh, situation where plastic is invading what we call the entire biosphere, the world of life. The world of life is now uh, being compromised by the world of man and man's products. Uh, humanity is making materials that nature can't digest. And those materials now are becoming part of our water, becoming part of our food. So it's very important that we think about ways to eliminate plastics that are causing these problems. Uh, since we're not getting any help from the industry, right? They're just making more and more of these things, smaller and smaller packages, more and more difficult to recycle. What we'll talk about is the way that <clears throat> in your own home and in your own family and in wherever it is that you consume food, that you begin to be smart about the plastics that you use, that you begin to eliminate plastic packaging from your habits and, and from the way that you purchase in the in the market you can first of all worry the plastic and why we don't use our when it's in the ocean and soil does it help to um does it have any positive benefits to the environment the plastics the plastics that captain mentioned that are used in agriculture can we use them instead for like our daily usage of plastics in the world organize uh, ban the use of plastics like rwanda has done in africa instead of the plastics that we use every day can we use that material that he mentioned to make plastics that we can use since they degrade faster. Because plastic is degradable, does it affect the taste of our agricultural produce? Is plastic for um, preserving most of the foods and packaging them? If we were to ban the single-use plastic, what would we use to help preserve the food and help it to last for a longer period of time? Can you tell us a little bit about bioplastics and what are their limitations? Come join us on our journey.